Okay, one of the last things I forgot to mention in our config demonstration was the service bus. We talked about it quite a bit, but I didn't actually open it up and show you. So you'll see in here, um, our service bus explorer, we have queues and topics. We only use the topics. You could also use queues, but we've determined and decided to use the topics for our setup. You'll notice I have two specific ones. We have the ag XML export, and if you remember back to that JSON config file, that is one of the definitions, as well as a Dynamics AX topic. Underneath that, we have subscriptions. Right now, we have one subscription. You could have multiple subscriptions open and created specifically for this integration. You might have additional subscriptions, you know, and you'll notice it kind of looks like a newspaper, but you might have multiple subscriptions, for example, to send to specific um, customers or vendors or what have you. You can filter on these subscriptions to only have it, you know, it'll read all the messages, but it'll only care about ones you specifically filter it down to and send it to that filtered person or entity. So this is kind of the setup of this. When you, if you actually had leverage um, custom code, we would definitely help in the initial setup of this. And then you, we would demonstrate and teach you how to monitor this as you go. On the left, and this is gonna be important as we demo, the left, the zero on the left is the message that's actually in the subscription processing. So if you had a bunch of messages coming in, you'd see a high number here kind of getting processed. As they get processed and they're successful, you'll just see this number go down. If it fails or something goes wrong, you will see a number in the middle become up and that is called your dead letter. So you will see down here that we have our, our uh, dead letter button, our refresh button, a purge, DLQ and our purge. So under purge, right, if I click the purge and I had messages in here on the left, it would delete all of those messages in the queue, excuse me, in the topic subscription at that time. So that can be helpful if you're testing and you set up some messages, you don't want to wait for it, whatever. You can delete and purge all those messages. We don't recommend doing that in a live production, obviously, just because you would lose that data potentially if you purged it. On the purge dead letter queue, right? If you if you are having issues, something's going wrong. Um, you come in here and you read that dead letter, find out what it is, and then once you've fixed it, you could resubmit the messages, resend the message overall from the actual uh, source environment, and then if you want to clean those out, you would just purge those. So the messages, if I actually click the message button it's gonna try to say, hey, I just wanna see you know, the top 10 right now. There's actually no messages, but I could change the quantity. Click okay, and you will see there's no messages, but you could open this message up and take a look at them. Very similar with the dead letter. You'd hit dead letter. How many do you wanna see? See the top 10. There are no dead letters, but you would see the messages in here now. Uh, I don't wanna purge, sorry. And if I go back now, you have the refresh, disable, delete, update. So the buttons out of these, I don't usually use these a whole lot, but on the refresh, we use a lot. You can also hit F5 and it should refresh. And you can see down here refreshing every time I hit the F5 button to kind of see the messages start to process. So a lot of times the messages move so quickly, you won't even see them and they will just end up in the folder or in Dynamics. But sometimes, especially if you're first time doing the integration for the day or what have you, if as you're starting up, it can, take a second or two. So that is kind of the setup of the Azure service bus piece. Um, again, and kind of the working functionality. Again, if when you initially get the setup, we would definitely help on the initial setup and, and training on the maintenance and usage of this.